y'all like this shirt i like this shirt i found this um at my got a little dust on a uh, local thrift store um it's such a pretty color especially sometimes it looks more bronze sometimes more copper hello <laughs> Hey, my name is Sarah. I make videos about movies, vintage shopping, and running an online store. Anyway, on to the movie review. So today I wanted to talk about Bullet Train. I enjoy action-packed, nonsensical action movies. I do, especially if they're in an interesting location or the premise is interesting. Bullet Train has a pretty big ensemble cast with interconnecting stories that culminate in a bunch of assassins slash thieves being on this one bullet train in Japan at the same time. All of them trying to retrieve a case full of money and a gangster's son slash hostage. Yes, yes, sure, why Why not, why, why not? The story starts out really disjointed where you're like, how are these events related to each other? And they very slowly start, the connections start to become more and more obvious and then they slowly come together, either through an event or through a character revealing that connection. Brad Pitt's character is one of the main characters who you see mostly throughout the movie. Shares like flashbacks from the past, where things are currently, his realization that he's met some of these people before and where he's met them, and sort of connecting the dots in that way. The whole idea of fate and destiny and how your actions can have ripples of consequences that you have no conception of until they come back to bite you on the behind. It's, and I love that. I love that kind of overarching theme. The fight choreography was really good. The way they take into account the surrounding and it wasn't like, I know you guys have seen this. Some fight scenes are set up to where they basically ignore their location that they're in and they move like they have more room than they actually do. They tailored it to the location. So they're in a train car, which is very narrow. And there's like, you can't lift up a chair and like bust somebody over the head with it because everything is attached to the ground. They make choices based on the location that felt very real and authentic. Lemon and Tangerine, the fact that their code names are Lemon and Tangerine and they had a whole fight about that. I love that. Twin, them being twins, sure guy. Yeah, that's funny and interesting and makes them a little different. Uh, the Hornet being this mysterious character who nobody knows who the Hornet is and uh, the way that they kill people. <laughs> the White Death, which is so aptly named and his whole operatic backstory the him taking over this super powerful clan in japan and his wife being murdered and his son being kidnapped and as a connector for a couple of these characters let's just see where this story goes there is an entire sequence shot from the perspective of a water bottle you guys gotta see it. You guys gotta see it. The glee, there's a almost like hysterical glee in these unpredictable moments. You could tell they had fun making this movie. You can just tell. You can tell that it was just so much fun to make this movie, to film it, to come up with ideas for X, Y, and Z. I love all the code names, the wolf. Everybody has a crazy backstory. Everybody that we needed to know about had a crazy backstory. The people that we didn't need to know their backstory on, we didn't know, and I was fine with that. We just skated right over that because we didn't need to know. I feel like if some characters had showed up and we didn't learn anything about them, we would, there would be kind of like a, what? What is it that made them this way? But some characters, we learn enough about them to know that they just came out like that. There's no explanation. We don't need to know anything about their personal lives or, or see any flashbacks about them. We're good. And I appreciate that too, because it kept the story moving, kept it right on ticking. Because this is a long movie. It doesn't feel that long but it's jam packed 
full. That one scene where Tangerine smacked that um, Momoku, whatever that, it, look, it looks kind of like a cat, ra uh, cat raccoon ferret kind of thing that was like dancing in the kids car with all the kids and stuff. Him smacking that thing, that was funny. Who does that? <laughs> And why was it harassing him so hard? <laughs> but then it's like, we keep on moving. Him bopped it in the face, kept it moving. It was funny and weird, made all the kids like boo. And then he just kept walking through the car. The prince, her whole like pin straight, razor sharp bob, every detail in her outfit, super curated and matching her manicured fingernails, just seeing the way that she like took out her earbuds and then moved her hair back into place. Great character building details. The cast is a, was a genuine surprise to me. I, I kept seeing pictures of Brad Pitt, like with his face all messed up in promos for it, but I hadn't actually watched any trailers before I saw the movies. This is a, a very eccentric group, but makes sense for the characters that they're playing. They really embody their characters. So even though this is like an all out door smashing, hyper speed action movie, there's a little bit of emotion, like genuine authentic moments of emotion and connection in there. There's ridiculous comedic elements in there. There's some very interesting scenes throughout the movie, AKA that whole sequence shot from the point of view of that water bottle. Some very creative choices were made. That shows in the movie. It's definitely worth a watch and it's a good time. I'm gonna give Bullet Train a four out of five because for what it is, which is an action comedy drama, it over delivers. I, I recommend it, I do. I've watched that movie like three times because there's always some detail I missed and that kind of changed my perspective on certain things in the movie and made it enjoyable to watch each and every time. So I recommend it, you guys should check it out. Something I forgot to mention, but I, I did want to include this in the video is the music. The soundtrack is amazing and the musical edits are so well-timed. It's just so good. It creates these really great signature scenes. So thank you all for spending your time here with me today. I really appreciate it. We've got some very interesting movie reviews coming up, so don't forget to check in. And I hope you all are having a lovely day or night, wherever you are, and I'll see you guys next time.